Hello, today we're going to talk about the ternary operator in PHP. The ternary operator is an alternate syntax to a simple if-else statement. So conditional statements are very common in programming. You can't get far without them. Um, so I'm going to show you ternary operators today. I, honestly, I don't use a lot of ternary operators unless I'm spending a ton of time every day programming. One of the reasons I don't love them is that the syntax varies from language to language. And I, uh, I'm a teacher, teach a lot of languages. So uh, keeping that stuff straight is difficult for me. But we're talking PHP, so let's talk uh, ternary operator and PHP. I'm going to start off by showing you what a simple if-else would look like. And then we'll talk about how I'll contrast that with that ternary operator. So what I've got here is a variable called GPA, and it's got a value of 2.5. And a simple if-else would look something like this. You see how I structure my if-elses. I always comment out the closing curly bracket. So I'll say if GPA is greater than 2, uh, then I will echo out good standing. And if it is not greater than two, well, I guess greater than or equal to, probably would be correct, then I will echo out academic warning. That's a simple if else, right? It's either, either this conditional statement right here evaluates to true, and that happens, or it evaluates to false, and that happens. Now, in the wide world of ifs, there's not always an else, sometimes it's just an if, and there certainly are else ifs where you've got multiple cases, and right, and that's kind of related to switch statements and such, but this situation right here where it goes one of two directions is probably the most common, I think. They're very common in PHP. Um, so if you want to look at a shorthand way to do that, you can. Well, let me run that first. And the uh, GPS, that's a good one. I like GPS too. All right, so good standing. And if it is uh, 0.5, I get academic warning. It goes one of two ways. So there's nothing wrong with that. And that's one of the things about a ternary operator is it's a way to shorten your code. And they're kind of cool, but this isn't exactly uh, difficult by any definition to write in the first place. So let's talk about ternary operators. So ternary operator is taking an if else and turning it into a single line. So here's how the syntax looks. You go uh, in parentheses, you're going to do the conditional statement. So GPA greater than or equal to two, right? So that's my conditional statement. The next thing is a question mark, which is just weird, but that's the syntax. Um, the next thing you're going to write is what happens if it's true. And then the last thing you're going to do is what happens if it's false. So no curly braces. You're kind of limited in terms of what you can do here. So um, good standing. And then the thing that separates the true from the false is a colon, which is confusing because we do semicolons all the time. Academic warning. And then I close this thing off with a semicolon. Semicolons are how you end all statements. So this is this is done now. All right, so if you want to see how these compare, here's my conditional statement. Then I've got that question mark. That's what happens if it's true. Then I've got a colon, and that's what happens if it's false. Those of you that have programmed enough, you realize, gosh, you do do a lot of if else's, and I guess it's cool that you can do it in a line. It's certainly not readable at all to somebody who's not familiar with the language. So that's one reason I don't love them. The other reason I don't love them is the syntax varies from language to language. But if we're just talking about PHP, that's what they look, they look like. Now I'm going to run this, and it's going to work, but it's not going to do anything. It does that. So I'm telling you, I think this was structured correctly, but you got to do something with it. This is oftentimes this whole thing here, since it kind of returns a value is one way to think of it. Uh, you need to either assign that to a variable like, uh, like that, and then do something with that variable. Or the kind of easy thing to do here is I can echo that out. So I'm echoing out whatever this results in. And if I do that, then I'm going to be right back where I was. I'm just doing things shorter, right? So I make some changes. If I had more than two cases, this wouldn't be the tool uh, for that. But that's what a ternary operator is. So it's a shorthand for an if. 
I do use these sometimes um, in PHP. They're particularly useful maybe with like a, like an is set that you're going to do a redirect on or something like that. Um, but uh, that's ternary operator. So it's shorthand operator. You don't have to use them. Well, I might actually make you use it sometimes. But in the real world, you could choose not to use these. But that's the ternary operator. And it's also worth understanding that these exist in other languages as well. They just have varying syntax. Thanks for watching.